Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tarek Wator. Welcome to Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday, August 22nd, 2024, and it is day 235. Unrelenting! It's doing all right. Uh, this is the... I, I've done a little work. Nothing special on this one. I haven't been able to get this Avatar cross-platform just yet, but I'm trying to. Um... Really, I just I, I do multiple versions of the same avatars so I don't have to fiddle around with too many settings because I, I like certain consistencies on avatars uh, in order to avoid extra confusion, I guess. But I, I, I am going to need to apologize. I can't keep this one very long for good reason. Uh, Sweet Pea has officially figured out how to open our bedroom door so really well it's not just about figuring it out she has gained enough strength in the span of one week to grip the door handle hard enough to pop it open because this one has a lot of tension on the on the door latch so well that still means she's she has enough strength to open this door and as i was first setting up to get into vr and do the daily the daily hey we're sober video uh she got in and that's the last thing i want is a toddler running around in circles with me when i cannot see her at this point i'm wondering if i should start setting up the pass through cameras on the index which i don't even know how to do because they didn't make that exactly easy to do it has the pass-through cameras, but I've never known anyone to actually use them. Nor do I even know if they're any good. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Buttercup should be getting home from school here pretty soon, too. Again, why I can't keep it for too long. And I also have the brisket in the oven right now, because we're having brisket tonight. I mixed together some very simple spices in poured a um an old beer i pulled poured an old beer into the brisket and i'm slow roasting it in that to get a good broth going because i like I, I like my brisket brothy if i if i roast it because uh I'll, let's face it i don't think it's safe to use our current grill for for smoking meats purely because how you how you you know, wood smoke in a grill is very different. So I need, I need an offset grill to do something like that, just to be safe. I do miss grilling though, but it's it's just been too hot to do any grilling, so I'm not. Uh, well, there's a possibility next month if it cools down enough, I'll be able to go out there and start grilling again. But right now, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. It's, it's still in the hundreds, but I can already feel the difference yesterday and today compared to the previous days. It's just like a five degree difference and you can feel all of it. Every bit of that difference you can feel. And I have no complaints about it finally getting a little cooler. And it's trying to say, oh, hey, we might have a cold front coming next week. Look, upper 90s is not a cold front, but at this point, I'll take it. I I just I just really really need to get away from this heat. It's been it's it's been awful. What? To the point where a lot of our enthusiasm has been sapped out of us. Lily is definitely having a struggle right now. So a, a comment of encouragement in the comment section down below would do her a world of positive right now. She's trying to quit vaping. And uh, with how sweet pea is, it's, it's particularly difficult. Um, she doesn't. Ha she's never really handled stress all too well. And and you know, those who have quit nicotine know exactly what I'm talking about when I say every little stressful thing that would have been just an inconvenience gets dialed up to eleven. So then think of a very stressful situation like a toddler getting into things that. They shouldn't be because they somehow managed to get into the dangerous things you thought you got out of their reach. Or just doing very dangerous things and, you know, giving you a headache kind of thing. Dial that even further 
than what it normally would be in terms of being stressful, and you have Lilia's situation right now. It doesn't exactly help that I am under a solid, I, I'm under the solid impression that her mother, being my mother-in-law, is being an, ena an enabler and keeping her vaping because she, she uh, when Lily visited over there yesterday, her mother was like, "Hey, you you need to use a you need to vape, you need to use some nicotine," and she used it all day yesterday. So, so now I'd say she's probably back at square one right now. <sighs> it's she'll get there. She'll get there. It just it takes effort. It takes effort that she's not used to having to deal with. Other than the most effort she had was being pregnant. Well, don't get me wrong. Second trimester, second trimester is just terrible. But no, she's not pregnant. I, I assure you that she's not. That's, that would be one of those like how kind of deals. But <clears throat> again, I can't keep this one very long. I'm sorry. We're we're very short on time. Buttercup should be getting home just about any minute. And there's so much more I need to do because the. I do have a watch on this hand. Hang on. Uh, well, right now, this says I've got 40 minutes on the brisket. I might roast it a little bit longer just to make sure. But it, as of right now, I've got like 40 minutes left on that. And then it's just a matter of getting through this week and next week. <sighs> and trying to make sure that Sweet Pea doesn't get in here and... Be a danger to her, herself when I can't see. So there is, I'll be discussing with Lily and I'll discuss with Tessa on um, whether or not we're going to have to put VR on hold until we can get a different door handle that can have a lock on it. We also need to get a chain for their closet so she's not getting in there, but that's something else. But in terms of safety, we're looking at the possibility that sh we might not be doing VR for a little while until we can get a new a new um, door handle on our bedroom door. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. We'll see, or if we can get a system in place. Because right now, I think Lily is literally just guarding the door, and I I do feel bad about that. But anyway, I'll have to leave it there because I got to get out there, check on them, make sure things are straight. You know, the the usual stuff. There's there are things I need to do. And I'm going to be completely honest, I just saw those potato chips down there. And now I wish I had potato chips. I do not have any potato chips, I, and I am hungry right now. <laughs> the smell of the brisket is getting everywhere in the house, and I know that's why, but, uh, why Sweet Pea has been screaming that she's hungry. It's the brisket. It, it's driving us all nuts that we just want to eat it. <laughs> anyway, that's a, that, that's going to be it for, for me today. I'm going to go find my meat claws. Yes, I have some meat claws. I'm going to go find some meat claws and shred that brisket up here pretty soon. This is Terraqua Tour on your Thursday, August 22nd, 2024, day 235. And we will see you all tomorrow on Friday. We'll see if we do VR or not. But in the meantime, y'all take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow.